Boydy Nerdigans, this is the one only Packer Girl 89. Today's Maga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for King and Ashra chapters 223 to 227. And last time I covered uh, this manga, we basically um, finished up the um, Oma versus uh, Wakatsuki fight, which was freaking awesome. And we got into the um, Kano and uh, Kurosaki fight, which is really, really starting to get good. So let's get to chapter 223 and see what happens next. So here we go. And chapter 223 is titled Victor. Devil Ants. There it is, folks. The Devil Ants has been unleashed. Woo! Um, by dodging the left Devil Ants, uh, Kano's uh, posture broke down. He followed up with an eye poke. No problem. Another follow-up. Uh, right elbow. He he read ahead by narrowing down um, the places that were easy to attack to uh, his head and neck. He let Kuroki's uh, attack. Khan did not pass up the gap. What's this? Did he land a hit? <gasps> Woo, Sachin. Um, that's a defensive kata in um, Ryu, uh, Kiyu, and uh, Karate. Sanchin said to be the simplest kata, yet also the ultimate kata. A seasoned master can use it to shake off um, any and all blows. And when a master on Kuroki's level uses Sanchin, it can't be broken through so easily. He's tough. It's as if uh, we were striking a boulder. No problem. We will keep striking until it breaks. Ah, oh, cough. That was a bad move, Kuroki Genzai. And a battle between masters of pre-initiative. Once you go on the defensive, it is nigh impossible to recover. Uh, Kuroki moved. What? Woo! Ah, uh, Kuroki's lost his posture. The Fang's got this. Kano's gonna win. He's using Kuroki like a sandbag. This is the Fang of Mitsudo, Kano Agito, fighting in full earnest. I have you know, um, and this is Kuroki Genzai's fighting in full earnest. Woo! Oh, a chop? Good choice. Oh, here's the scary... Oh, because scary Agito is here. Um, he was uh, certain he re had read his moves, but Kano exceeded Kuroki's expectations. What the hell? Is is that form? It's the same um, one as when he fought me. I cannot face a master like you with my martial arts alone. Allow me to use this me. Woo! Okay, let's get to chapter 224. I am ready for this. The real Agito's come out. Um, Kuroki, allow me to use all of me. And chapter 224 is titled Violence. Oh, the, oh that face is scary. Um, Okubo is like, what the fuck? That's the same face when he had, um, had when he fought me. Oh, shit. Ooh, he's changed his tactics, tactics again. No, it's like he's a different person entirely. Well, duh. That idiot, he's gone back to, um, uh, the formless style. That's not a bad choice. Kuroki Gensai is like a manifestation of the principle of martial arts. There's a chance that not even Kano could match him with martial arts. So Kuroki is best countered by um, a tactic outside the principles of martial arts, namely the formless style. He unleashed his formless style on purpose because he reached that same conclusion. Woo! Strike! 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 Woo! This is insane! And yet, Kuroki Gensai was unshaken! He's more tricky than he was before, and now that he has no form, but I found an opening. Ooh, 23 years ago. We're digging a little deeper. Watch out for falling rocks. Um, when you called me all the way out here, I couldn't have imagined what it was for. This is the work of the devil. Um, uh, they perform goo uh, with uh, human beings. Goo, which is basically a form of uh, sorcery practiced in ancient China. Centipedes are placed in a sealed jar and forced to cannibalize each other. The last surviving centipede uh, becomes the host of goo poison. What kind of bastard would do such a heinous thing? We found it. The, it's the entrance. Let's pry it open. Stay on your toes. We need more free hands here. Oh my god. We're too late. They're all dead. It looks like uh, this goo is a failure. Mitsudo, there's a survivor. That was how I met a girl. Dude! Holy shit! Dude, that's how you met it. That's how... That's how you met a girl? Oh my god! Dude, you have to wonder what the fuck a girl was going through, like, before that. Jesus Christ, the man's a monster. Now. Um, we thought we told you we would use all of us. 
In his 11th hour, he evolved again. Egito was the sole survivor of a goo ritual. Um, having fought his way through an excessive brutal, um, excessively brutal environment, his mind had been ruled by madness. After taking Egito under my wing, I used every form of education at my disposal in order to keep his animalistic side under control. This resulted in Egito becoming a calm and level-headed fighting machine. But that is not to say that his animalistic side uh, was uh, entirely repressed. That face he shows from time to time is a twisted manifestation of his repressed instincts. The formless style is a little more than his berserk stake. Woo! But not now. Guido has cl clearly mastered both martial arts and the formless style. Martial arts, formless. A combination of martial arts and the formless style. Woo! What? Martial arts. It had um, the intensity of two masters of two... Uh, Types of um, fighting in unison. His left shoulder was dislocated. All four fingers on his right hand were broken. Oh my god, this is just horrible. Oh jeez. Kuroki had lost both of his devil lances. He was um, in a predicament. And in this situation, Kata was reaching an even further evolution. It's no use. Your wings have been clipped. You have no moves left to play. What? His left arm is back. What? what? His left arm is back. No, this wound is not from his left arm. His thumb? Oh, huh? what? The devil ants did not die. Kuroki was still alive. Oh my god! Like, what the fuck? Alright, let's get to chapter 225 here. Oh my gosh, this is getting even more interesting. And chapter 225 is titled Solitude. Mount Sh uh, Shirobaba Daisen Temple, a holy land where many martial arts have come to train uh, since the Kamakura period. Thank you for everything, Your Holiness. I was able to train well thanks to you. Dai, um, Hoke, be diligent, diligent in your training. Hail the Buddha. I wish you all well so long. Um, he is a powerful man indeed. He performed the purgatory austerity, a rite which has caused many deaths. It is an um, ascetic discipline in which one must spend three days and nights in prayer while surrounded by un um, unceasing flames, yet he accomplished it with ease. What a solitary man, Your Highness. Why do you say he is solitary? That man is the avatar of a wisdom king. Never in my 105 years of life have I met anyone as powerful as he. He has become too strong, so strong that he has no one left to fight but himself. Thus he is solitary. I only, um, I only pray that uh, Kuroki can find someone who can quench that solitude. Kano's bleeding from his left hand, and it looks like Kuroki's left arm is still intact. Back then, he used centrifugal force to reset his elbow. Damn, that's fucking insane! He had the skill to perform the impossible with ease. Kano's uh, caution was inevitably heightened. Kuroki took advantage of his mental state and went on the offensive. Right or left? Left hook punch! Woo! The impact and pain assailed Kano. The internal organs uh, feel no pain. Um, organ pain is caused by uh, the uh, par um peritoneum which covers the viscera the impact passed through the peritoneum to the liver and the de uh, decrease in blood flow caused functional decline oh my god a spear hand uh, formed from the thumb alone a uh, formless headbutt Ooh! when it, i tell you that is just a monotrope when in doubt headbutt um the devil lands uh martial uh left elbow the damage dealt was immersed for a mere three blows why did Kuro uh, kuroki's strikes have so much impact uh, the Herculean, who may have uh, very well have the most powerful strikes in the world, Wakatsuki Takashi, the man who stood at the pinnacle of um, striking martial arts and possessed uh, the fastest blows, Gao uh, Ling uh, Wang Sawa. Uh, Kano had overcome both of these fighters, yet the tables of, the, uh, of this battle turned into after uh, mere three strikes. Why is that? Formless, the answer is the void! Right, Chuck. Kuroki had already worked out the timing of his, uh, his switches between martial arts and the formless style. On top of that was his caution against the devil uh, lance imprinted on him in the early match. Um, we got the palm heel, and, ca and such ca uh, caution uh, delays the reaction to all other attacks. Since the attacks came from the uh, from outside his, aware uh, his awareness, he could not defend it in time. Thus they land. These heavy blows perfected by decades of training struck him without warning. Thus they impact. Right straight punch. Woo! He's throwing punches with his broken fingers? Um, Kanohagi, uh, Kano Agito's, um already using his indestructible. Does that mean they're too powerful for indestructible? He did not miss the moment he backed away. He knocked him off uh, balance with a palm heel then. Middle knuckle fist! Woo! Shit! Whoa! He's reeling! He's reeling! He's reeling! Who could have expected this beatdown? Kano Agito is clearly on the ropes. 
Um, he's putting my uh, immaturity to shame. Mastering a powerful technique is not nearly enough. Using the right technique at the right moment, this the pinnacle of martial arts was no more than an ideal, but Kuroki has put it into practice. He knocked him back with the right palm heel. Now the time was ripe for the devil ants. Woo! <gasps> Denied! What? You're kidding me! He's only using- he's only just using his kicks now? Master, Akito, are you still evolving? At the last moment, um, he evolved even further. Martial arts! <gasps> he hit him! How did he land that uh, with such a big swing? What? He's already switched? Formless martial arts! <gasps> the time lag um, uh, in switching between martial arts and the formless style was shortened by just a few milliseconds. And just a few milliseconds difference um, uh, made it possible to unleash his kicks. Uh, formless crack. He, so you're exceeding my expectations. I thought you had reached your limit, but this fight is up in the air again. This is why we call him Emperor. This is why we call him the Fang. He's begun his revenge. Formed, he's formless. Formless, he's formed. Upon being wounded more than ever before, he obtained a new power. Let me... Whoa, he blocked it! Kuroki's closing the distance. Oh my god, he lured him in, just as he planned. Oh my fucking god. Um... His blow from extreme close quarters, which led to his victory over Hatsumi, is the fastest blow that strikes over the shortest range with minimal motions. This makes it virtually impossible to evade. Um, Kano named this blow the Dragon Shot! We got a Dragon Shot! Oh my god! In all of Kano Agito's arsenal, it is the strike with the uh, greatest firepower. Um, the Dragon Shot! Um, the Dragon Shot misfires! Kano's right uh, wrist has uh, been completely destroyed. I acknowledge your strength, Kano Agito. I will give you your last rights as an equal. Wait, what? Ooh, let's get to chapter 226 and see how this is going to end. The right um, uh, trapezium, trapezoid, uh, um, capitate, uh, hominate, sca um, scaphoid, uh, lunate, uh, tri wait, tri uh, quetrum, and uh, pis... Pisiform. All eight carpal bones have multiple fractures. Uh, Kano Agito lost his right arm. And chapter 226 is titled Star. Um, Suffinating wrist lock. He did not miss the nature of the dragon shot, nor the moment it stopped, move me, uh, stopped moving. His uh, sub suffinating wrist lock literally bent the dragon shot's trajectory. Naturally, he was not left unarmed. Um, left unharmed, excuse me, wording, ah. His right hand took the full brunt of the dragon shot. This fractured his uh, thumb, his last digit that was still intact. And yet, he forcibly contra uh, contracted his muscles to make a fist. There's more to the Kaiwan style than just the devil lance. That's just like Nico st uh, style's uh, bone binding. How does he know bone binding? Fury, Hanese, despair. There cannot des um, these cannot describe the emotion that had gripped Kano. He had fought over the course of 160 matches to repay his debt. He had crossed fists with the strong many times over, each time evolving and attaining victory. And now Kano was facing the biggest wall in his life. He instinctively um, understood that all of his fights had been for this very moment. Okay, here we go. Um, uh, shit. Um, Pogno, um, ergo sum, Kano Agito faced Kuroki with his ve very existence in the, in the balance. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Kano had predicted Kuroki's next move, but he was sorely lacking his usual strength, and he shook him off. Right knee! Oh, he's got a knee in the face! What? Right bent wrist fist! What? Kuroki too had right ahead! Um, right knee! Oh my god, Kuroki! Kuroki Genzai! He's moving in such a way that you would never imagine he's injured. To think that a master of martial arts would be this powerful. Uh, but so what? Victory is my destiny. The thing of Mitsuda will never be defeated. Well, that's what you think, uh, uh Gido. Woo! Following the bent ri uh, wrist fist, uh, this was the second strike to the jaw. It was an elbow delivered as a, a counter with his full body weight behind it. Kano stopped moving. Um, straight punch, six strikes. It's ending. Kano Agito's The Fang of Mitsudo's legend is ending. Oh my gosh, even with his brain concussed, even with his right arm destroyed, the Emperor would not die. The Fang of Mitsudo would not stop. Kano Agito would not falter. Oh my gosh, but the moment uh, came at last. Woo, Kuroki Genzai. I swear one day I will repay you for this. Woo! Oh my god. Two great stars collided and one star fell. 
uh, the star that shone brighter, shone fiercer, and shone stronger remained that name of uh, the name of that star was. The winner is King of the Kengan. Uh, the winner is Kuroki Genzai. The King of the Kengan matches. You were too. You were. Tr uh, you too were truly strong. Oh my God! So, Oma's gonna go up against go up against Kuroki. Oh my God! Okay, let's get to chapter two hundred twenty-seven, which is titled "Visit," the final chapter I'm t covering in this video. Um, who could have predicted this outcome? Just listen to that crowd. They're not showing any signs of quieting down. This shocking conclusion: the fate of Mitsudo Kano Agito has been defeated. The emperor of the Kengi matches is bowing out in the semifinals. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's gonna happen now? The single match will have unfathom unfathomable consequences. I don't believe it. Our new master has been defeated. Um, an era was over. All the fighters realized that the Kengan Association was about to undergo a reformation. An age of civil war was upon them! Oh my god, with its new king, Kuroki Genzai, in the center! This is far enough. Go back to your post. Master, we... Agito, there's something I need to tell you. Kuroki Genzai was invited to the tournament by me! What? So with that in mind, I'm responsible for your loss. You don't have to worry about a thing. But why? I was tired. I've been the king and said, oh my god, this is all going according to fucking plan. The man just keeps on trolling. Um, I have been the Kenyan Association chairman for many, many years. Soon enough, no one left uh, was left to threaten my position. I was deeply tired of being a, a, a king over a small world. Are you saying that there that uh, we were a big fish in a small pond? Correct. I wanted to fi fight on even ground, just as I did when I first won my won my position. And this tournament was a godsend. A tournament where the most powerful fighters from within and outside the Kengan matches would gather. Just as I thought, a new tide had stirred within in the Kengan Association. That said, I did not expect expect you to lose. Now my long reign has come to an end, and I am brimming with excitement. Even at my old age, I can be a challenger once again. I've still got it in me. Now, the time has come for you to walk a new path. Master, we have something to tell you. We will resign as the Fang of Mitsudo. Uh, pardon me, uh, Mr. Takeda, it's time uh, to get ready for your match. Huh? I thought Alma already left for the entrance. Huh? But it's a straight hallway between here and the entrance, and we came from the entrance. What? You mean you didn't pass him? Maybe he's taking a bathroom break? Hmm, could something have happened to Oma? We did, uh, he did seem to have trouble walking. I understand, just to be sure, we'll do a search of the dome. That won't be necessary. Oma's fine. Mr. Yamashita, do you mind waiting just a bit, Mr. Bodyguard? He won't be long. Understood. I'll go report back to headquarters. What's going on, Yamashita? Well... Right after we left the room to head to the arena, someone stopped us. He said he wanted to speak with Oma before the finals. You're pretty tough, aren't you, Pops? You finally, uh, you fought so brutally just a second ago, but you're already fit as a fiddle. Do not overestimate me. Even I suffer um, injuries and fatigue. There's an in this is an inescapable reality, no matter how strong you may become. So what do you want to talk to me about? Yes, it's been ten years since Tokido Nika left this world. Wait, what? You knew Nika? We are both heavily injured. There's no guarantee we will both survive our match. So before that, I will tell you everything I know. As Nico's heir, you have the right to know what the Nico style is and the truth about the Nico style. <gasps> oh my god, I can't wait. Oh my god. The next time I cover this manga, it's going to be fucking amazing. We're going to find out the truth about the Nico style. Not only that, we might find out who the truth about the real Nico. The quote unquote real Nico. I'm telling you. I, I, what I said, um, I, I think it was. Either last video or the video before that, where uh, where I think it's uh, where like the Nico style ended up being like a um, a battle royale kind of thing, and the real Nico killed everybody, and it was up to it was up to um, Tokita Nico to stop it. I I'm leaning towards that. I'm still going with that theory. Anyway, um, I actually I, I, this is all going according to fucking plan. Apparently, that Agito was gonna lose. And I'm kind of happy it was this way, especially since I kind of, like we kind of knew something was up with Kuroki, um, because of his connection with uh, Setsuna. And this is going to be very interesting to find out what his connection with, um, with uh, uh, Nico Tokido Nika is uh, Nico is, and probably with the real Nico as well. I can't wait to see it. Anyway, let me know uh, your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdic and Zinc if you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion and keep the channel alive. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, go fund me, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All it's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.